I'm Jody Daly, and this is Let's Talk, where consumers like us, well, we talk. So everybody likes to throw a celebration that's great, right? But monumental memories can cost a pile of cash. We've seen the over-the-top celebrations that are just too much. Well, today, we're going to look at the art of the party and see what it takes to throw a bash without breaking the bank. Join us in a minute. Looking for a great way to keep your weekly shopping budget in check? Choose your favorite supermarket store brands and you will be amazed at the savings you'll see at the register. Made from the same quality ingredients as national brands, store brands really add up to great savings. Give them a try and add money to your pocketbook. I love a good party. It can be a wedding for 200 or a 10-year-old birthday party. And all of my guests today can tell you one thing. Great parties take planning. But how do you balance making a great memory without spending a fortune? Well, with me today is Vince, an event planner who's seen it all and probably done it all, and I'm looking forward to hearing your experiences. Margarita, I would think of you as one of those over-the-top kind of party planners if I didn't know your secret. And Lori, mother of three boys, who has a very interesting way of making celebrations. Welcome, everybody, to the show. Thanks for being here. I want to ask you one question from the very beginning. Great parties take planning, but what's the first step that you guys take when you're planning a party? Cost. Cost? Yes. Okay. And Lori? I based it on a theme. Theme. All right. And Vince? I'm looking for somebody to have a plan. I work with people who have a plan. Okay. Well, let's go with that. Talk to me about how you start with, with people, because you do events all the time. What goes into that kind of event planning? Understanding budget, understanding That's their your time frame. That came out right. there. Right. Right. Their time frame, uh, the amount of people they want to have. And really, what's the focus? And how can we bring in their personal touch to the event? OK, personal touch. So how much do your clients, how much are they involved with your party planning? And how much do they just go, just Vince, just do it? Some are very involved. And I just stand back and let them do that. And some, I have to carry them through, which is fine. So some people like a lot of uh, input. Some people don't. So I would think that both of you two would probably be the ones that would say, Vince, I'm just using your place. So I'll take care of everything, right? Yes. Because yeah. you do themes and you do costs. But that, but we're going to talk a little about, about that later. Best party you've ever thrown and why? Well, I, I think it's the ones where people had a budget, had a vision, and I just made it happen with no, no direction. You mm -hmm. know, let it go and let it be organic. Organic meaning what? You know, let their their family come out. Let their theme be just having a good time with people. You know, you don't need much. You know, gathering of people, good food, good drinks, good music. That's all you need. Good music. Good music. Love yeah. love music. Now, Lori, you're kind of like you have different ways of throwing parties. Some of them have causes involved, and some. Could you describe for us, like one of your kids' birthday parties? Um, well, one I did, I tried to include every child so that... Now, the, this is really good. This, listen to this, because this is awesome. D talk about that. So I don't want a child to not be included. So I invite the entire grade and family. So that can be up to 50 people. So one year, I, um, I again, the theme, my son's birthday was November. So what sport is November? And it was basketball. So I reached out to the college, um, talked to the coach, and got our whole grade into a Stevens College basketball game with an underground tour, and then they all got to meet the players, and it was it was amazing because every child could be included. Okay, so not only did you not leave out one of his classmates, you got the kids into a great basketball game with kind of like idols. Correct. And it was for free. Correct. She got it for free. I love that. And one other one that you did was um, a, 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 like a scavenger hunt. So another creative way. It and we've takes, got pictures. of. So explain to us what we're looking at here. So it takes a lot of work and time. I had to drive around town. I had to do a lot of research. I would like to say my son helped, but he didn't really. I'm sure he you um, helped. <laughs> we know you helped. Um, and I found out all the historical parts of our town. And then the, the kids were put into three different teams. So they were randomly picked to be together. And I taught them before they left for the party that they had to do a selfie shot with it. So okay. I knew they ran the town. And uh, So they, tell us about the bakery, where they went to the bakery. So one of them was a bakery where I pre-purchased um, 
a loaf of bread, they had to go into the bakery as a team, get their loaf of bread, come back out, and take a selfie holding the bread in front of the... Just to prove that they were there. Just to prove they were there, and then they got to eat it. This, this is a little different than birthday parties I've been to, where you go to a birthday party, you cut the cake, you, you get the presents out, and then you leave. But this, how long did it take those kids to do this? Um, they were gone for hours. Some kids quit, most kids went all the entire completion, and they really had a blast, and they learned something while they did and it. And was this also the entire... Yes. Crowd? Yes. That's really neat. There's a lot of kids in my house. So she's one of those people that would pretty much say, Vince, we're just using your place and make sure we have good food, right? That's right. Exactly. She's got a plan. She's she got a plan. That's what she wants to do. That's <laughs> awesome. When we come back, we're going to be hearing about your plan, and we're going to be talking to Margarita about her totally over-the-top celebrations. And she creates them on a budget, so maybe you guys can too. Don't go away. Supermarkets can get pretty confusing nowadays. So many aisles, so many products. How can you save time and money when you shop? Get into the habit of buying your store's store brands. You get the same quality as national brands and save at the cash register. No apps, no coupons, just money in your pocket. Give them a try and smile your way through the supermarket. Welcome back. We're talking memorable party planning. So, Margarita, I got to say, all this stuff, can you guys see all this stuff on the table? It's, this is stuff from Margarita's parties. And you have, you talk about cost, but at the same time, I'm seeing stuff like, okay, for instance, talk about this first. This is a, can you see this, guys? This is a Playbill cup. It's a glass, it's a, it's a, like a cocktail glass. But tell me what you did with this. So I knew that my first daughter, Lene, she loves Broadway and she was into always going to a play versus a birthday gift or a birthday party. So she wanted an experience. She wanted an experience. So I went onto the Playbill website and I was straight to the clearance section. So I said, what can I find here from clearance? So I found these glasses that were probably, they came into a set of four. They were probably about $24 at the time. And I think for the set of four, I probably paid $5. So I literally bought every single, I think it was about 200 of them. So okay. I bought them all and I planned the party based on the, so the glasses. So this is how the party gets planned. So first we have, okay, we found the Playbill glasses. We have the, can you guys see this one? Times Square, what did you do? So then I then created her, and this is the birthday party invitation. So I created an actual Playbill with a photo shoot that I did at Times Square. Photo shoot in Times Square, which is what we always have yeah. when <laughs> we're having a birthday party. No big deal, right? right? Okay, and then out of that, came this. Is that a Lamborghini? Yes. So she rented a Lamborghini for her child's 16th birthday party. Yeah, just a little something. What do you think there, Vince? She's, she's got some time on her hands. I, I don't know how you would have that much time to plan all that. I mean, seriously, how long did it take to, for you to plan that? So this part, I probably took me about 10 months. 10 months. And yeah. yours took three months to get around for the, the... Yeah, like a month or so, but it... I mean, seriously, yeah. this, this is like really thinking about stuff. Yes. Wait, let me give you, I, I have some other ones. Here's some other ones that Margarita has done. Um, okay, the Broadway thing we had, the Time Square shoot. You did an American Idol one, right? And then you did a camping theme for your four-year-old where you had a bubble machine, a, can, a cotton candy machine, and a Build-A-Bear for each of the guests. Right, they were able to build their own bears. Build their own bears which is what I love to take home from a party. And this one I loved. You did this about 10 years ago. This is a, you got this? This is a pizza making kit for kids. And basically it comes with everything. Now this is the laminated pizza recipe in the kit. And it comes with a, a little, what is that? A apron. A little apron and all the stuff you need to make a pizza. And you gave out that as, as the thing and then did what? And then so what I did first is I wind up Leah loves pizza, so she's into pizza. My town is big pizza famous, town. big pizza town. Big pizza and, town. Um, so I went on to the, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond for something, and I saw these on clearance. They must so have probably cost that? me $3, I think. Okay. So I saw it for $3. I said, I can plan a whole party on this. So I bought, I think there was like 30 of them. I bought them all. Okay. And then And what? then I went home, and I made pizza with Leah. And I took pictures of her, and we created a recipe card with her pictures on it. Yes, I saw so that. So I took, this was the original insert. Okay. So I kind of just measured this and made the recipe card this side. And okay. then put, took the insert out and put her recipe with her pictures on it. Okay, so this is, hold on, I'm going to give you a shot of the recipe card. Right here, there's the recipe card. And that's Leah on it. And that's Leah. And then we just rented out a local pizzeria in town and had a pizza party. 
you rented out a local pizzeria. Yes, we had a birthday party at the pizzeria. So when they went home, they got... Did you get it for free? Yes. She'll, she'd get it for free. So what I did get for free were the pizza boxes. Tell me, you guys, what are some of the trends that you're all seeing with... Uh, yours seem really out of control, quite frankly. <laughs> but when you say that you get all of this for, for very little money and you get your stuff for free, kind of leaves you out of business, doesn't it, Vince? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm lucky enough to see a lot of people with creative ideas like this, but I know that they want, idea they want an experience. Yep. They want to create something that they can take a picture of and send it to their family and put it on Facebook or Snapchat or Instagram. So it is about an experience, but it gives a, an event planner a lot more to do. It, it lets me be creative or follow their creative juices and add in little things here, knowing where to get great food or great items or maybe where to find that sale item. Yeah. It's cool. It's fun. What are some trends that you've seen people create that you're like, oh, I gotta do this next time, right? I mean, scavenger hunt, I thought was a great idea. And, and God, over the top with the playbill and the, the shoot, but what are some of the trends? I see a lot of cake tables, Meaning candy what? tables. Um, people usually use it as a focal point of the party. So it'll be a really elaborate cake, maybe five tiers. You mean like it. a wedding? So yeah, and candy jars all around it. Um, so usually now, back, I think back in the day, the centerpieces were the big thing at the party, but I think now it's just this one wall or a photo booth with the props, that's and that's kind of like the big, tick, like that's where you go to take your pictures, or people are running to, like that's the center of the party. Yeah. In terms of um, balloons or centerpieces and vases, and that that's kind of like a little old school A little now. passe. Yeah. And what about you, Lori? I just think it's more about including everyone, even as a mom or as a person. I, I just think whatever it takes so that everybody can be invited is just as important to me as spending a thousand dollars I'd rather make sure every adult myself I like to go to parties I like to be invited so I just that's why I work hard so that it's all inclusive yeah that's great and Vince what about you when it comes to trends? so on that idea is we've got to think as a caterer in a, in a house how to be included to everybody so I've got to think gluten-free I've got to think that's right all different no menus and so yeah. I'm thinking about everybody just in food and how are they going to like this? Is there a lot of vegetarian or vegan dishes enough? Because I don't know if they're vegan. I don't know if they're vegetarian, but I got to have that option. Yeah. So a lot of variety. Yeah. Key to a great party. What is, what is, the, what is the one thing you want people to walk away from and say, wow, this happened? Or wow, you know, what's the wow factor for you guys? I think it depends. Like if I am having a party for a, my 25 year old music, Right, you wanna. I think the music is important. They're older; they want to okay. dance. Um, even with my 15-year-old, the little guy, maybe the play space. What's okay. how they're playing? Is versus just standing around tables. Right, they're not having conversation. You got four-year-olds, so they need to play. They and need that's action. where the entertainment comes in, like with the bubble machine, the bubble machine. or the cotton candy. Or so you you have the bubble machine, and then you rile them up with cotton candy. Right, and then they make, go home. Yeah, and then they yeah. go home, dump somebody <laughs> else's house. How about you, Lori? Um, I think maybe the follow-up. After the event, I take a lot of pictures and videos, and then I follow up with sending that to the families, and then the parents get to feel like they're included and they see the excitement, and then it just creates longer memories with the kids. That's great. And Vince, I'm gonna give you the last word here. I think it's making sure that um, people felt like they were a part of it, everybody feeling they're a part of that event. And that personal touch, uh, usually a lot of events are family driven. You know, when you put that family touch, when you see that dad and daughter dancing and everybody snapping pictures, it's amazing. That's, that's what makes great events. Well, I, all I know is the next time you have a Build-A-Bear, I want to come. <laughs> and I'll be on your next scavenger hunt, and I can't wait to come to your event. Guys, thank you so much for being with us. This has been a lot of fun. Can I keep this, by the yes. way? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Isn't it leftover? Does the recipe work? Yes, it Wonderful. Does. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you at home for joining us. For more information on what you've seen on today's show, visit Store Brands USA, the channel here on YouTube, or go to storebrandsusa.com for shopping information, recipe ideas, and more. I'm Jody Daly, and I'll see you next time for another edition of Let's Talk. <laughs>